And now, after telling me that due to circumstances beyond its control or something, my video had ended, did I want to post it? Apparently I'm live again. Huh. Facebook, you suck. Anyway, as you might have, uh, if anybody ever actually tunes in and listens to this, uh, that was a little bit of Knights and White Satin. Are you sure it is running live? Again? It says I'm live, but it doesn't, you know. Here, here's an Andean folk song. Actually, even for more authenticity, this is the pan flute that I taught myself to play on. It originally came in two rows, but I took them apart and put them together. Actually, it was from more than one pan flute, so this is kind of like a Frankenstein's monster type of uh, musical instrument. But it, it, has a, it has, a, I think, to my ear, a slightly nicer tone than this one. It's very hard to play because it's not at all professionally made. It, the, the edges aren't beveled like they are in this beautiful pan flute from uh, Wood Song Instruments in West Virginia, I believe. And they have this unique uh, round top for the bass notes where they cut the bamboo at the node so that it forms a natural lip and makes these bass notes a lot easier to get.
This is for the ambitions. Uh, uh, anybody remember Barbara Streisand? <laughs> Does anybody here remember Barbara? St oh, wrong, wrong group. Anyway.
same melody, and I'm sorry that uh, I didn't uh, get as many of the notes right as I would have liked to. <laughs> Silly me. One more. Now, this is uh, practically the, I think it is it. Well, practically, no, not, not the only, because uh, I do play uh, a version of the New World Symphony on But other than that, uh, this... Uh, Song of Mendelssohn's um, "Wings of Song" on wings, on wings of song is practically the only ple the classical piece uh, I play on the pan flute. Sorry, uh, this, as I said, is a very difficult pan flute to play compared with my, as I said, my professionally made wood song instrument here. <laughs> just to be a shot. This, this really has a lovely tone. I wish that it were in better shape. Several of the tubes on it are cracked. You can see this one here in particular is grievously, grievously cracked in several places. It still plays, though.
Anyway, I think that's all for now. And even though this is a pan flute group, I'm just because, you know. You didn't do the pan flute and piano mix. Yeah. Well, I did do the pan flute and piano mix a few times, yes, but. Chopin's, of course, uh, harp etude, but somebody once commented that it might sound uh, better, or don't think of it a harp, think of it maybe as an ideal, in, in the edition of the etudes that I have, the commentator says, you could think of it maybe as an idealized woodwind. I think Chopin himself said something to the effect of, you know, to imagine that you were in a cave in a thunderstorm, you know, with, with uh, playing a flute or something to that effect. Unfortunately, I don't have a cave to practice in. Anyway, I don't want to press my luck by doing too much that is non-pan flute. Um, like I mentioned, I've been playing the pan flute for some 20 plus years. If anybody would like uh, some instruction in pan flute, uh, please feel free to contact me. And if you feel like making any donation, I've got a PayPal that you can send to. You can. You can just send me gobs of money, and uh, so I can just afford to sit at my piano all day uh, uh, learning pan flute Thanks piano you. duets. <laughs> Any case, Do I'll have, have any viewers? no no viewers at all ever, <laughs> and my ego is just crushed. And I, I did my hair up and everything. Well, I was here. Yeah, <laughs> he was here. Anyway, take care.